Wei Hentan and a distinguished uh, professor, um, both at the University of Florida and the Hulan University in China. My overall research is called Molecular Science for Molecular Medicine. And if you are talking about molecular medicine, you definitely have to have molecular probes. And aptamers are one of those very you know, emerging molecular probes. An aptamer basically is a piece of DNA or RNA, and which usually has about anywhere between 15 to 60 base long, which can recognize a specific type of target. The book published by Springer is about selecting aptamers against biological cells. So basically, you use the biological cell, a living cell, as the target. Then you run the selection, and in the end, you will be able to generate the molecular probes. Instead of using a purified molecule as the target for the selection, we are using the complex living system as the target for selection. Aptimus selected in this way will be directly useful for the you know, cancer cells and then, of course, it's for disease diagnosis, disease therapy, as well as, you know, biological, you know, mechanistical studies. The book is basically a, a summary of what has been done in the last eight years because the technology was pioneered in our lab, you know, about eight years ago. I think this book is very timely and it's, uh, you know, represent the frontier in this whole area. Also, the future direction of optimal, you know, I mean, research and applications. Well, my current research, of course, you know, we're trying to push this uh, optimal selected by the cell selects into real applications. And uh, we have done a lot of, you know, work in the area of testing this optimus with patient samples, mainly in two areas. One is with the blood sample, the other one is the tissue sample on the cancer precise diagnosis as well as early diagnosis. That's one direction. The other direction is the aptimus can be used as a therapeutic reagent and it can be used in two ways. One is aptimus themselves can be used as a drug and then the other way is aptimus can be linked to the currently available chemotherapy drugs and for targeted therapy. And uh, so those are the two application area, but, uh, but at the same time, we are doing a lot of research on how to modify the aptimus and how to understand how an aptima really works. Basically, my current research is, you know, uh, one in the basic science side of further understanding of aptimus. The second one is really in the biomedical, you know, I mean, applications and then therapy and diagnostics. I have uh, published two books with uh, Springer. The first one is called Molecular Beacons. The second book is uh, Aptimus uh, Selected by Cell Selects for Thin Elastics. And both books are a great collection of these two specific subfields. My experience with publishing books with Springer is very pleasant and also very productive. And I know the uh, you know, managing editor, Jun Tom, pretty well. So I think uh, the first thing, of course, we did was to try to choose the topic. And she knows uh, you know, about our research. And then during the you know, writing, and I think she gave us uh, uh, a lot of help, and she tried to make my job uh, more or less simplified. And so a lot gives me more of, of course, encouragement and more energy to you know, see this book uh, through. I think uh, writing this book is a good experience looking back about what you have done and also looking forward into the future.